I'm Uncle Larry. And I'm Joe Bump. And that's, that's news to us. us. We have lots of stories to cover today, but you know what? We're going to start off with something that I'm sure a lot of people are talking about, and that is, guess <laughs> why he left? Guess what's coming up? It's the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. And two teams, the Atlantic Falcons and New, <laughs> New England Patriots. Yeah, I love the Atlantic Falcons. They're my favorite. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. I like the Atlanta Falcons. Actually, they're, that's who I'm rooting for. Yeah, so anyway, you know. Um, Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, so anyway, this is it's going to be on February 5th. Yep. This will come out before before them guys. Let's hope so. Do you know, that this is the fine. Falcons' second trip? Yeah. Did you know that? It's their, actually a third trip to Super Bowl, but you can keep on checking your fact. But my fact says it was the second trip that they were in. They were in 18 years ago. I don't think Arizona. You're right. You're, you're right. Second trip. They were, they were 18 years ago was the last time they were in. Yep. And guess what? They lost. They lost to Denver Broncos. John Elway was his first Super Bowl or second? Uh, I don't you know. know. But anyway, never the ask. Patriots, however, are going to their ninth. I just have to ask you real quick, oh. Joe. Who's your pick? Who do you want to win? Well, I'll tell you why. Who's so, your pick and who do you want to win? Uh, it's let kinda, me, let's put it that way. It's I'm kind of I'm kind of torn. Okay, so my pick is probably the Patriots. Um, I'm kind of torn who I want. Um, I like to see new teams win the Super Bowl. I like to see Atlanta win because I never won. Right. Plus, Matt Ryan is from our area. He played. He was from Aspen, PA. Mm -hmm. Played football in high school in Philly. Um, right. So he's a local boy, which is kind of cool. Yeah. But Matty Ice. Right. Right. But um, to see probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, quarterback ever of all time. We're watching yeah. him play now. It's like watching Joe DiMaggio play baseball. Like we, it's it, it, We're watching one of the best, if not the best ever. If he wins the Super Bowl. It's ridiculous. They've right. been this. Him and Belichick have been to seven Super Bowls. Um, he's only played for fifteen years. Yeah. So it's over half. It's and amazing. if it wasn't for the Giants, he would have won almost all of them. Yeah. Two. If it wasn't for two ridiculous catches, one by Mario Manningham, the other one by uh, David Tyree. If it wasn't for those two catches, he would have won all of the Super Bowls that he's right. been in. It's Can crazy. I, that's the thing about this one is like you know you got Tom Brady and there. There's a lot of people who mm -hmm. have. Problems with him, you know, no the plate gate and all that shit. But you yeah, know what? Whatever. That's a long time ago. He's the greatest it, quarterback probably ever go. played a game. And the fact of the matter is, is that you know, the balls ain't deflated this year. And look at him. I mean, he's been on fire this year. He's doing a really great job. Both of those teams, by the way, kick the ass out of the other teams. It was defense. embarrassing. This, it was, these playoffs was, have sucked. Yeah. The only good playoff game this whole entire playoff season was Dallas against um, Atlanta, Green Bay. Or Green Bay, yeah. yeah it was yeah. the only exciting game. Yeah, now the only problem I have with um, the Patriots are they did cheat the Eagles out of the Super Bowl. Um, there was it wasn't the fight game. There was cheating going on in that game. But we'll we'll talk about that yeah. another day. But but I, I'm Lose. gonna I'm gonna say right now I'm rooting for Atlanta Falcons to actually win. Uh, you want to see that? And, and and I do. I want to see somebody different in there and everything. But I'm picking the New England Patriots yeah. to win because. We're so basically you asked say, me first, just so no, I. No, I wanted to see here. You did, but uh, but no, no, I didn't copy of you. That's just. I'm gonna tell you what, Tom Brady's a beast. The he whole is. The whole team is such well, a rep. It doesn't well matter who's on the team. That's what's amazing about Belichick. But on any given week, any team can win. Any team can win. Look, so the we'll Giants beat them happens. twice, and the Giants weren't the best team when they played. The Patriots are undefeated going in the first Super Bowl they played yeah. against them, and the, the, so you never know what's gonna happen. But it's always fun to watch a new team win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, but either way, either history's gonna be made or a new team's gonna win. So it's gonna be fun either way. Yes. I'm excited about the Super oh, Bowl yeah, this year. Oh yeah, so am I. Right, so a man in Mexico has been uh, actually he's been on the news a lot lately. Um, I've, I've heard talk about radio shows, seen it on TMZ, and also on the internet. Okay. Um, he measured in with having the world's largest penis, at eighteen point nine inches. Eighteen. Eighteen point nine. So it's 0. 0.9 nine inches bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, Yo, that's like. It's huge. That's probably like It's ridiculous. That. So, but you think it'd be awesome. I don't know if I would think that, but it's not. Um, the actually, doctors are actually advising him to get it reduced, uh, but he refuses to do so. Okay. In his culture, the bigger the penis, the more manly you are. Well, um, but unfortunately for him, there's a lot of side effects that come with such a large unit or Johnson, as I like to call it. Right. Um, first of all, he has multiple urinary tract infections. Yeah, right? I can imagine that. It's unbelievable. 
Two, he has to leave it wrapped at all times to avoid chafing. <laughs> like, even when you put it in your pants, you got to pick what side you want to put it on. I mean, like, yeah. that's ridiculously big. Like, we're talking, right, we're talking huge. Um, he, it's so bad that he won't even let the doctor see it. He had to get an x-rayed, right. and he left it wrapped the entire time. Why would he leave it wrapped? I, it's I, not real? I, no, I think it's real, unfortunately. He can't, he's never even had sex. It's so big, he can't have sex. So what good is it? Right? You judge manliness, but you can't have sex with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't even make any can't sense. Can't sow your oats. Yeah. Sow your seed or whatever way you want to put it. So it's, it's, it's worthless? It's, it, it, well, I know. It's horrible. Um, he actually, quite so uh, discomfort from him, he actually qualified for disability. Really? Yeah, he can't work because his penis is so big. Isn't that ridiculous? When he sleeps, he has to sleep face down. And he has a special pillow. He has to put it on a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Penis on a pillow. I imagine like when he goes to the bathroom, he could just like put it in a toilet and wash his hands at the same time. So he, he could pee and wash his hands at the same time. He could, but it would be kind of gross to leave it in like a toilet. If yeah. it was that big, put, unless you could rest it on the side, maybe. Yeah, if you could rest it on the side and, like, and wash your hands, yeah. You'd probably have plenty of room for that yeah. thing. Um, the worst part about it, well, the worst part about it is that he can't have sex. But actually, do you know how it actually happened? No. He stretched it himself. Stretched it himself? Yep. Well, I've been doing that for years. Nothing ever happened. <laughs> Not that kind of stretching. He actually tied a weight to it. Uh, starting when he was 15 years old. Um, and, and he would tie a weight to it. He'd let it hang down. Uh, Are you the doctors. Me? No. The, the doctors saw the x ray. It's actually made up of all, like, just stretched skin and blood vessels. The actual penis is, like, like here, and the end of it's here. So that's why he gets some oh, ear so it's almost all skin. It's ridiculous. But he thinks he's a man because of it. I uh, digress. Yo, don't try that at home, kids. No, no. not that aspect. That's His kind of stupid. searching you could probably try at home in the privacy of your own room. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, on a whole complete different note right Thank now. Thank God. We're gonna, I we're gonna I said change penis. gears now and go to a Enough. whole other story. Did you know, and I'm sure you've heard about this, Madonna made a controversial oh, speech during the Women's March to an audience estimated to be about 2.5 million people. People. Women. Yeah. Well, no, there's there's oh, guys yeah, there too. Yeah. My brother marched. 2.5 million. That's that's a lot. Her speech was actually cut short because of her profanity. She sucks, man. I can't right? stand her anymore. The real problem, guys, was that she said this. She said, "Yes, I'm angry. Yes, I'm outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House." Huh. Well, how can you say they're not get arrested? Is that not a terroristic threat? That's what I would think. But you know, you, you know, she has since apologized. Well, she didn't really apologize, but she tried to explain the whole. It, she says I'll it was a metaphor this. for blowing up the White House. Meant she wanted to blow it up with love. So she kind of like, you know, had an out there, and I'm like. Well, Really? You're outraged and you're angry, but you want to blow really? up the love? So if you really wanted to say that, why wouldn't you just say that? Because she right? didn't even mean it. it that's why. Okay? And then She's full of shit. That's, that's like why. me saying, you know what? I want to punch you in the face, Joe. Oh, You know what? What I meant to say is I want to punch you in the face with love. Oh, that doesn't sound as bad. Which side? This side or this side? Yeah, exactly. This is my good side. I mean, come on. There's no take backs. No, you you can't start off saying I'm enraged and I'm angry. Yeah. And you, but I want to punch you. I want to blow you. I've heard it exploding love, you, but not about blowing up love. You can't make that statement ever. Ever. Never, dude. It's absolutely outrageous. Speaking of that, though, with, of exploding. Of exploding. We have a special, special guest. guest here today. Let's welcome Jeff. AKA Psycho Dad. Huh? Hey, come on down, Jeff. Let me grab this chair for you. Tight quarters here in the green screen, isn't yeah, it? We don't yeah, have a whole well. lot of room here. We're working on a bigger studio. I'm so glad that Not you could, tonight, we're you adding on? We're, we're working on a building. Uh, maybe. Studio. We never know. You but need I, a production studio. That would be nice out here. That would be really sweet. But anyway, thank you for coming on here and. We really appreciate that, and we're just going to ask you some questions about the uh, the whole Psycho series, you know, thing that went on and everything with with Jesse. Yeah, being part of it, it's pretty it's pretty impressive. What yeah. He did. So I, when the, he first brought it up to you, like, did you think, like, what I mean, what was going through your head, like, like, like if you know, if my kid said, hey, 
I'm gonna destroy this for this. You know, like what was your? Like, I don't know. I, well, even, that, and I think in the very beginning, everybody was just, you know, it was it was just going to be a video. You know, hey, throw my Xbox in the fireplace and then smash it on the driveway. Boom, we're done. Right. But then it just, uh, you know, uh, so many weeks later, we did another one and another one, and it just started snowballing, and it would just it just went crazy. So we were all we were all on board with what you know he was trying to you know describe and and present and everything like that. So it was. So that was the first one, right? But but what really made it big was really the uh, the shreds one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shred was big. So when you did that video. Uh, and you and you realized the magnitude of the whole thing was, you know, did your your perception of the whole thing get different, or was it the same thing as like you know? Yeah, did you understand how big it was when it was no. big? No, no, I ne never. You know, I didn't grasp how big it was. Just kept saying how big he, he expected it to be. You know, after everything started happening one after the other, and it started getting bigger and bigger. You know, and he had his focus, he had his drive, he had his, you know, uh, what he foreseen that it was going to be big. Did we think that now? We were, you know, we were just sitting there helping him out. Is right. what we were doing? Basically, is what you know what we were. But then, as it grew, we our you know our thoughts and our our focus grew to help him out. You know, to go further. So did it make it easier on you? Like like the more the the like so, you, the less committed you had to be in the beginning. But by the time you were fully committed, at that point, you, did you kind of see what was happening, or did you kind of? Did you? I mean, like, cause obviously he had a vision, but I mean, like, at some point you had to have known numbers don't lie. You had over a million views on one video. You know things are happening. Like, did, at, what, at what point were you like, okay, well, we're involved in something huge now, and there's no turning back. There, and that, going back, there was a note, and it, it was one on on behind on behind the scenes uh, for the uh, shred videos. It was something about that he wrote down for him, and he says, you know, if we surpass this by a certain amount, he says we're 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 golden or we're all stars or we're you know we're uh, a phenom or whatever the case may be. i can't remember exactly what it was but it was something like that and as soon as as soon as i read that and then he came out and said these are the numbers today it was just amazing so you know it was something like that that triggered it and uh terry and i you know figured out uh, this is you know this is this is bigger than we ever thought it was going to be okay so so having said that and everything is like when it got so huge and everything and like um i know that you know there was a lot of anger coming towards you and everything from some some fans and everything because you were playing such a role that was actually portraying somebody to be so evil. He was a villain. To, to, yeah, um, was there ever you know ever a point that it bothered you? I mean, yeah, that got was, under your skin. Yeah, there was times you know you you look at the comments and and I always you know tried to stay clear of the comments, but sometimes you know you you delve into it and look yeah. at them and stuff like that and. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, death threats and a lot of hatred towards me as the villain, but you could never, you know, uh, you could never, you know, look at it and say, "Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just acting." Right. You know. So you, you couldn't even voice. I couldn't voice my opinion. I couldn't respond. I couldn't do anything because. So you always felt that it was always like that was so opposite Every, of what you really yeah, are. Yeah, it was. It was kind of. Yeah, it was all opposite of what I was. I mean, you know, I, but. Well, 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 let's 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 pump the brakes a little bit. It wasn't all opposite of how you were. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, it was nothing like me. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that you're as crazy, but there you have some tendencies. I mean, and, and you know, I, I may have a few, but we, nothing like well, that. We, we went back in the archives a little while ago, and we actually got some footage here. Take a look at this. Hey, Larry. Joe. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, um, um, Super Bowl's coming up. Yeah, it is. It's coming up soon. I'm excited. Yeah, um, the uh, Bengals of Cincinnati are in it. Yeah. Yep. Who and do you the think? 49ers, too, right? Oh, San Francisco yeah. 49ers, man. Yo. Jim, I'm you, dude. Who, that dude is the who you, man. Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for Jim. What's up, Chris? What's up, Rich? What's up, man? What's up, man? I he's coming over, dude. What the hell are you losers sitting here? <laughs> what? What are you losers, man? What are you talking about? What are you we're, sitting in here for? That's we're, not cool. We're, we're doing our show, man. I told you about this. We, what, what the hell's a sneaky smell I'm smelling? Did you change your socks? You know or what? it is. You know it is. Yeah, we, did you blow a doom? Yeah. We're rolling <laughs> twos. Is that all you do? We're rolling twos, bro. You sit in your mom's basement, play Atari, and smoke joints? Yeah, we're doing You guys got to get out and get jobs or something. I thought we were going to throw the football around. 
<laughs> Yo, <laughs> we're just trying to do a video. This is what we do now, right? This is how we, this is how we roll, man. <laughs> I didn't come over here to sell that, but you guys spoke to it. What? You got to get out and do something. Yo, you need to chill. <laughs> come on, man. What else? Are you going to get stoned all the time? Are you going to get jobs? You got to do something. Come on. You need to chill, man. Oh, I got to chill. <laughs> Dude, he broke your no. You gonna oh. sit around and choke your chickens to Billy Squire? Or you gonna get outside? <laughs> what? That, whoa, man. Yo. Oh, let me wrap my mind about what just happened. <laughs> He's completely ruining my buzz, dude. <laughs> That's totally messed up. Dude. Yo, <laughs> That's the most, that was ridiculous. <laughs> so we did your pencil. I know, well, yeah. Yo, I, I, I. You know what I mean? I, I'm tired of people trying to bring us down, bro. I'll be 100% honest with you, dude. I know, he's, we got a good thing going, right? He's not, you know. Oh. Yo. Why Clean you? up your axe, man. Come on. Let's go. Get jobs. Buzzkill, bro. Yo. You know what, dude? I'm sick and tired of people trying to ruin my flow. I'll be 100% honest with you. He ain't gonna, he ain't nobody gonna know him, dude. Ever. No, we're gonna be Ever. huge one we're day. We're gonna be huge. I mean, we're gonna blow up yeah, and so big. Nobody and gonna know who and you Bridge know what is. Else? You know what? It ain't Billy Squire, man. It's Stevie Nicks. You know that. Shit. You know it. Are you serious? That's all you got? You brought me out here to f***ing embarrass me like that? We are just trying to show you, you know, I mean, a little truth. truth. That's old news. Why do you got to bring that f***ing up? Embarrass me. All I came here was to f***ing drink a few f***ing beers, and you want to bring this up? You're a bunch of f***ing losers. Get your lives in order, would you? Uh. Oh, jeez, dude. I didn't think it was going to go like that. No, either did I. Oh, shit. Ripped up all my notes. Well, yeah, I guess you can take my story. Right? Uh, well, let me just... All like, right, so... I don't even know... Let's just get right back into it, right? All right, well, um, there's, there's a video going around um, that Disney put out uh, that suggested that all Pixar films are connected. Okay. Um, you know, you know what Pixar films are, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finding Nemo, all mm -hmm. Toys are all those. So in the video, Disney has egged its viewers uh, showing all the Easter eggs that are tied in with all the movies. Get it? Egged? What do you mean they egged? Like Easter eggs. It's just hidden Easter yeah, eggs. I know what right, Easter so, eggs are. So that's what they egged them on for Easter eggs. Oh, okay. All right. So, for example, um, Riley, the girl from Inside Out. Have you seen Inside Out? No. All right. So, a lot of you guys probably have. Riley from the girl from the movie Inside Out um, is actually at the aquarium in Finding Dory. Okay. Um, Sully. You know who Sully is? Mm hmm From Monsters, Inc.? Mm -hmm. um, Sully's etched into the bed in the movie Brave. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. It goes all the way back. Even the Bugs Life, which is a long time ago, had the Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story in it. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's kind of cool. So every time you watch a Pixar movie, there's there's so there's little Easter eggs inside. Right, and so Disney released this movie. So who knows what they're planning? There's something going on. There's a reason why they're doing it. But it's not that crazy to say that the kid from Up will see Lightning McQueen. Together, you know what I mean? There's yeah. so, all the universes kind of cross over. I think is, it's kind of that is really cool. I mean, Easter I like eggs, it. I think, are pretty exciting. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <sighs> anyway, did you know? And I'm sure you did, you saw the story. But a Saturday Night Live writer, her name was Katie Rich, has been suspended indefinitely for a tasteless tweet about President Trump's youngest son yeah i saw it. it's a shame did you say it you gotta leave the kids out of it did you did you ever read her tweet no i didn't in her tweet she actually said baron will be this country's first homeschool shooter that's first of all that's wrong on a few different levels one leave the kids alone okay you, you jerk two why would you bring any kind of i mean why would you even bring that out in the media i mean yeah. we've seen unfortunately um, great school shooters and school shooters. And it's, yeah. I mean, why would you even bring it up? Well, many have been outraged. And it pisses me off, to be honest so. with you. It has always been known that the president's kids are off limits. It's always been known that. That's like a, a, a given rule. I mean, you know they, what I mean? They like, didn't don't choose mess. their dad to be exactly. president. Like, I didn't choose my dad to be your head you coach in basketball. But you know what? I got an even better idea myself. It's like, how about we make all kids off limits? Right. What's wrong with that? It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's just take it a step further. It's like, I understand and I believe 
wholeheartedly that what she said was wrong. I believe that she should be punished for it, whether she's fired, suspended, whatever. No, she fire her it. ass. She's well, a writer. The uh, dime a dozen. Right, I'm, I'm saying you. I agree with that and everything, but we'll it's like, you. but let, let's take it a step further. Let's let's make it so that it's like all kids are off limit. All kids, because they all have the same kind of feeling, and they it's don't not, choose what their parents do. Right, exactly. Like my kids shouldn't get made fun of because I do a video with you on YouTube. Right, right. What? I'm just saying. No, I think I agree hilarious. with you. I yeah, so do I. My kids don't, but whatever. They should give me for. They don't choose what we do for a living. They shouldn't be held accountable for what your parents do. Period. Exactly. It's absolutely ridiculous. Exactly. It kind of pisses me off to be one hundred percent honest. Yeah, I'm mad. Well, <laughs> I'm a little mad. Hey, Larry. Yes. Do you know that if you Google the word SQ, which is A S K E W, you know what happens? No, I do not. All the resorts. <laughs> resorts. All the results kind of lean to the right. Well, that's news to us.